It appears as though Chris Rock isn't done talking about the unforgettable night where he was slapped right on the stage by Will Smith, but one person that has had enough of the subject is none other than Smith himself. As the world is getting back to normal since the ruckus, the two subjects of the town's gossip for weeks still don't see eye to eye on the aftermath approach, especially Will Smith. So, has Rock's comments so far been damaging to Will Smith's career? If so, does the actor have any say in controlling Rock's commentary? The television Television Moment veteran Hollywood actor Will Smith has stormed on stage to smack Chris Rock, the host of the 2022 Oscar Awards ceremony, across the face for the comedian's ill-timed joke about Smith's wife has still got tongues wagging despite the fact that several weeks have passed since the incident and, according to reports, Will Smith would rather not hear about it as he is ready for everyone to put the topic to rest, especially Rock. The animosity started brewing again barely weeks after the Academy Awards scene when Chris Rock, while performing at his Fantasy Springs comedy show in Palm Springs, California on Saturday, April 9th, made some here and there quips to the audience at the event, but the most notable and perhaps anticipated comment from the TV host was his response to the slap gate. According to the Desert Sun newspaper, the 57-year-old South Carolina native, while speaking to attendees, reiterated that he was doing well after the slap heard around the world, saying, I'm okay. I have a whole show and I'm not talking about about that until I get paid. Life is good. I got my hearing back. Rock further joked about being slapped to the crowd. Well, the notion that Chris Rock intends to make money off the situation was a well-received idea by his fans, who believe the entertainer should be able to get something positive to come out of the embarrassing situation. One fan who agreed with Rock's decision made a comment online saying he definitely needs a Netflix comedy special, to which another swiftly replied, Chris Rock is a wildly smart man. He knows he has a juicy scandal that people could massively profit off of, and he's not giving away the cow for milk, so to speak. Respect playing their own game. Even though the comedian has not been entirely forthcoming with his takes on the drama with Will Smith, he was, however, quite eager to make the show as fun as possible as Rock tackled some other juicy celebrity news, not excluding making cracks at politicians as well. In a totally unrelated topic, and almost as if in a bid to avoid talking about the public display of violence, Rock, however, peers to some other pop culture icons, such as throwing jabs at the Kardashians for their culture of how they love black people so much they take anyone in, also mentioning former USA presidential candidate Hillary Clinton, who failed to win the presidency in 2008 and 2016, respectively. Unlike Rock, Smith has been pretty low-key since the fortunate award show, and one can say it is a result of all the negative negative heat that the Hancock actor had been getting from all angles. In what the public has termed Smith's way of paying penance for his sins after his viral lapse in judgment, shortly after the award show, the King Richard star quickly announced in a statement that he was taking the pains to resign from the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences, a move many saw as the actor only trying to save face. I am resigning from the membership in the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences and will accept any further consequences the board seems appropriate," Smith said in a statement released by his publicist and reported by CNN. The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air alum continued in his release by apologizing to all parties involved, saying, "...my actions at the 94th Academy Awards presentation were shocking, painful, and inexcusable. The list of those I have hurt is long and includes Chris, his family, many of my dear friends and loved ones, all those in attendance and global audiences at home. I betrayed the trust of the Academy." Will resignation and subsequent apology doesn't seem to sit well with the many angry fans who have taken to social media to condemn the actor's behavior, while also calling for tougher sanctions on Smith. Congrats to Will Smith on absolutely the least amount of contrition possible. This does not affect him or anyone else in the slightest. Mark this news down as who cares, an angry fan commented. I mean, let's be serious. He has been made fun of since he was cheated on, not even because of his fault, and kind of dug a deeper hole for himself to prove his love. Now, he's going to be continued to be made fun of. Which part is the bigger loss?" Another reiterated. Although the actor and stand-up host has said very little about the entire fiasco, the idea that Rock is holding out on saying too much until he possibly gets a tell-all deal does not speak good for Smith, who has been facing enormous backlash for his actions. Go get it, Chris, from Netflix and from a civil suit, Jada giving a 
side eye is going to be an expensive side eye. She sat there so proud as it all played out. Then they partied after. Go get it, one fan cheered. While another Reddit user joined the consensus. Good for him. Being humiliated on a worldwide TV should be worth something. This is the way of being compensated without having to take the PR hit of suing Will. Smart guy. This is the expression of value and strength without hitting Will back. As rock fans have tried to make sense of the comedian's underlying emotions, the public's most sinister guess is that perhaps Rock does not wish to speak on the assault as he intends to file a civil lawsuit against Will. With the chance of him being well compensated for the public disgrace by suing Smith, which he'll most likely be in cash and checks for. If he keeps this up, people will end up paying a lot of money to hear him talk about Will and Jada Pinkett Smith. He can pretty much say whatever he wants and we know it's gonna be funny. That seems like some pretty sweet revenge, one agreeing fan concurred. The California event will however not be the first time Rock will be addressing the Oscar episode. Barely 72 hours after the Oscar night and during his East Coast show on the ongoing comedy tour on the 30th of March at the Wilbur, Rock also briefly addressed the slap while on stage. Chris was reportedly to have started the set by first addressing the elephant in the room. How was your weekend? The host joked, making reference to the eventful couple of days before appearing on stage again. I don't have a bunch of shit to say about what happened, so if you came here to hear that I have a whole show I wrote before this weekend, the recently single father of two expressed. I'm kinda still processing what happened, so at some point I'll talk about that shit and it'll be serious and funny. Other than the weird thing, life is pretty good, Rock affirmed midway through the first of two sets while looking pretty relaxed, dressed in an all-white suit. Despite Rock's willingness to speak on the subject, it however seems as though Will Smith is ready to put this horrific chapter behind him and frankly, who can blame him? This is not to say Will's wishes are coming true anytime soon as the golden boy of Hollywood is seriously getting dethroned. First, it was the Academy Awards Board of Governors banning him from the Oscars gala and the Academy events for a long period of 10 years. And then, in more destroying news, the rumor of his lined up jobs being pulled. However, according to many, the punishment from the Academy Board doesn't quite fit the crime as fans were quick to point out that despite being banned from the ceremony, Smith can still be nominated and can still win Oscars. Just ask late night TV host Trevor Noah, who threw in his two cents on what he considers injustice to rock. The comedian, while addressing his talk show audience, revealed his feelings about the consequences the Academy imposed on Smith, calling it ridiculous. According to Trevor, the punishment was actually in favor of Smith, who also won his first Oscar on the said night. I got into the details and I realized he gets to keep his Oscar and he can still win Oscars even though he's banned. This is a favor, baffled Noah pronounced. Will Smith doesn't have to go to the ceremony. Yeah, he doesn't have to get dressed up. He doesn't have to sit through a bunch of boring awards that he doesn't care about. He doesn't have to pretend to be happy when he loses, continued the best-selling author. A sentiment that some fans also share, saying other extreme measures should have been taken against Will. Should have taken his Oscar, one user announced. With the public's reaction to Smith's actions and especially to the so-called consequence dished out to him, one can hardly blame Chris Rock for looking to make money off of Will's predicament. Does Chris Rock have a right to talk about the Oscar smackdown as much as he wants? Or is Will Smith right to caution him? Let us know what you think in the comment section down below and as always, thanks for watching.